London embodies and delivers world-class scholarship, education and research in science, engineering, medicine and business with particular regard to their application in industry, commerce and healthcare. The Centre for Environmental Policy aims to produce the highest quality research, teaching and advice on environmental policy. Although common belief is that excellence in interdisciplinary research comes with excellence in its components, in most cases this is not enough in itself to produce research outputs that are excellent or useful. Keeping in mind the complexity of environmental systems and their nature, which is also transdisciplinary, environmental quality research has been focusing on delivering excellence on the links between the disciplines developing ways that interdisciplinary research can reach its full potential. The need to manage environmental resources more sustainably drives the interdisciplinary nature of our research that delivers options for pollution control and strategies that value and protect ecosystem services. Through a systems approach to understanding problems, we focus on environmental challenges, especially where science and engineering interface with public policy. Interdisciplinary, integrated and holistic solutions are required when we move towards sustainability and the solving of environmental problems. There are three research themes, water technology and management, environmental pollution and health, and resources management and tools. Investigations are undertaken in order to assess and minimize the health, environmental, climate change and business risks posed by our activities. Research has centered on developing the concepts and conflicting demands of the water energy food nexus. It has been addressing escalating environmental, social and financial challenges, highlighting the need for a major shift of mindsets for interdisciplinary modes of action to address these issues. We've been investigating the benefits of closing the loop with direct use of treated wastewater effluent, either directly, groundwater recharge, drinking water input, via agriculture, irrigation or energy generation, cooling water. Fuller exploration of this applies to chemicals such as phosphorus, heavy metals or precious metals which can be recovered from wastewater treatment and sludge processes, closing the loop in a different way and turning waste from a burden into a resource. An important driver for the work on chemicals in the environment is legislation, most recently the EU Water Framework Directive and also REACH, Registration, Evaluation, Authorization and Restriction of Chemical Substances. As a result, environmental pollution is assessed in our work from a catchment perspective, recognizing sources of priority substances such as heavy metals, but also other inputs such as pesticides, pharmaceuticals and endocrine disrupting chemicals. Work towards sustainability is risk-based. Research focuses on interdisciplinary, collaborative research on key sustainability issues in manufacturing and services that impact from the whole of the supply chain to the end of the product life. With conventional waste management approaches, focusing principally on waste treatment and minimization being insufficient to deliver sustainable resource management, our work has been focusing on a system analysis approach that delivers a strong information basis and provides opportunities for resource use optimization at various levels of application. Material flow analysis is currently being investigated and developed as a tool to inform resources management and policies. These are examples of current research projects and initiatives. Under the direction of Dr. Bob Willis, who's 
recently included as an example of a science-based education program and data collection method in the Atlas of Soil Biodiversity, launched by the European Commission's Joint Research Centre. The Environmental Quality Research Group delivers the natural science options of the world-renowned MSc in Environmental Technology at Imperial College. The MSc is one of the leading courses in the world in the environmental field, established in 1977 with more than 3,000 graduates acting as champions of its success. One of the indications of the outstanding performance of the group is the number and quality of the publications. is the book Pollutants, Human Health and the Environment. We work with a large number of collaborators and our research is funded by a number of sponsors. These are three case studies demonstrating the benefits to industry of our research.